Fish and Franks was put together quite recently and it was brought together by myself and Frank himself from uh, Thomas Franks because mental health is so important. But not just mental health, things to bring the family together, to bring your confidence up so you can learn new skills, problem solve faster, be a better person, be a more creative person. This is why Fish and Franks came about. Obviously I'm Heather Fisher and Frank Bobwell is not with me today. I'd like to say he's behind on the bike. But the bike looks a bit empty, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, today we are going to talk about all about the relationship between mental health and movement. Two things that are close to my heart, and actually, it may surprise you. During lockdown, my aim was mental health over training towards the Olympics. And now we are seven months away from the Olympic Games. Performance becomes more apparent. But what becomes even more apparent than performance is actually taking care of this part, which is the mental health. If we get this right as a team, as an individual, as small, you know, as, as I say, as as small minds, as big minds, as big as you want to go. But if we look after each other, okay, and each segment of each other, and we look after the person next to us, and we empower people, then mentally we'll be in a better place together. Hey, say hi. This is Frank. And it's actually not Frank. Say hi, Doc. Say hi. Hey guys, uh, this is part one of a series, all to do with mental health, but all to do with um, reinvigorating yourself. At Fish and Franks, we don't believe in reinventing yourself. It's not about a new you. It's not about a new year. So quickly lose weight, change your hair, change your style. Wow, change your clothes. We don't need to do any of that. What we need to do is be able to appreciate and accept where we are, okay, individually, as a family, as a team, as a business, and then strive to be even better. How do we do that? Fish is going to tell me the answers. So the first one we're going to talk about is movement and the relationship between movement and mental health. Okay, it is absolutely massive. Talking from my experience now on my road to Tokyo, it's really tough. It's really, really tough. It's not easy. You know, you think I've got a gym at the bottom of my garden, right? And you think it's pretty easy going to the gym. It's not. It takes me about, I have, I have about half an hour fight to have my supplements in the morning. I have about 20 minute fight to get my shake down me and to make it. And then I literally have this little man on my shoulder that's telling me, don't go to the gym, Fish, just look after yourself, just chill out. You need to go and lie on the sofa a bit, go and do something different. Um, and then I have this realisation that we're seven months away from the Olympic Games on my road to Tokyo, where I want to hopefully retire and, and, and finish on my terms. And I'm not going to have any regrets. But to have a no regrets attitude, you've got to be willing to put yourself out there to be fearless. Okay, how many people live in fear? And I don't mean fear as in scared of everything. I mean, I mean, a fear of failure, a fear of not particularly making it, a fear of being um, rejected or pulled back or not good enough. And most of the time, it's not because we're not good enough or someone's not telling us we're not good enough. It's because we don't believe that we're good enough. Okay, and that is all part of mental health. It's all part of that mental process that what we engage with ourselves, the dialogue that we use with ourselves and others, okay, does create our environment. The team around us, the people you interact with socially and at work and at business, whatever you might be doing, that plays a part of your performance because you become the environment you're around. I'm gonna be producing a few episodes with myself and Frank and what I think is really important to remember is just because the festive period is, is literally upon us, okay? We've had November, we've had the recognition that mental health is really important, but we don't just wanna recognize mental health. We want to engage with it. We wanna make you guys better people. Why? You've got businesses to lead. You've got family to lead. You've got loved ones to love. You've got business people to make better around you. You've, you've got a life to live. You've got so much to go and do, okay? So what we wanted to do is, as Thomas, um, Thomas Franks and, and, and myself, Fisher, we just want to be able to collaborate and put something together to help you guys become better people. Um, and the first point of that is all about movement and mental health. Have you heard of an animal called the sea squirt? Have you? I bet you haven't. So a sea squirt is like a little animal. All right? I think it's made to look cartilaginous or something. It's basically made of, it's got loads of legs and it swims around and it has a brain, has a neuro, it has a um, nervous system, okay, it has a brain and it basically moves around the sea, just like any other marine animal, okay, if that's what we're gonna call it. And <laughs> what it does is basically go along the sea trying to find a rock. But when it gets to a rock, it, it basically digests its own brain. 
So what I'm trying to say to you is that, well, you're thinking, fish, why are you telling me about a sea squirt? And why are you telling me that it's digesting its own brain? I'm telling you this because I'm trying to say to you, it digests its own brain because it doesn't need it anymore. It doesn't need to be curious. It doesn't need to problem solve. It doesn't need to have confidence. It knows where it is. It's on a rock, okay? Great, well done, you've got to a rock. Now I'm gonna eat my own brain because now I can just chill and enjoy the rest of my life. That's telling me, and I'm telling you, that that is the reason we need to move because by moving, we activate the brain. We activate the pathways that make us feel better. We release hormones, happy hormones, okay? So whatever you do this new year into the 2021 season, um, Christmas period, new year period, into the spring, into summer, get moving, okay? Um, this series is all about moving and I'm going to do a separate one on things you can do to get moving, just that are simple, okay? I'm just rotating the body, getting your limbs moving, stretching. It doesn't have to be a full-on program. Don't be scared off by the gym. Just be, just ha like, don't be scared by it approach it in the fact that right i'm just going to get moving i'm going to have half an hour of stretching i'm going to do yoga class i'm going to do a zoom on the bike i'm going to do something with my family i'm going to go for a walk and enjoy having the activity and enjoy having the exercise and enjoy being around people enjoy the fresh air you need the vitamin d we all need the vitamin d because it helps the hair grow <laughs> why move why bother moving people say get to a gym get exercising get outside oh my god be done with it i can't be bothered Right, well, be bothered because why? Why should we be bothered? Number one, interacts our brain. Number two, it creates neurological pathways for learning, for problem solving, for curiosity. Three, it builds confidence. It builds an inner strength that you need right now. We all need, I need, we all need. Number four, social interaction. Whether it's with like-minded people, whether it's going to the gym with someone else on a separate program, but you're around like-minded people is really, really important. Number five, the values <clears throat> and the lessons that you will learn in that gym or by taking yourself out for that run and pushing yourself to that new level, you deliver into life, okay? So whatever you use in the gym, those disciplines and those values, you take elsewhere. And that creates a better person, a better you, okay? We're not reinventing you in 2021. I had to think about that then. But what we are doing, we are reinvigorating you by saying, if you move, you will feel better mentally. And at the moment, that is our approach, that is Fish and Frank's approach. So when we also, when we exercise and we train, call it what you want, um, we have to control our breathing. Now breathing, breathing is something that we breathe from here and we breathe from here. Had to get up then on a box, okay? So we breathe from two places. Ideally, where should we be breathing from? Down here, okay, in our bellies. We don't wanna be up here panicking. But when you exercise, when you train, you go outside and you push yourself so that a little bit extra, you have to control your breathing. And automatically that controls your anxiety. That controls those, those even if you've got that inner anxiety feeling that we've all got at the moment because of so much uncertainty. Something we can control is this. And with this, we have this breath, okay? And with breathing, we can lessen our anxiety. So get to the gym and get breathing. The things I want to talk about today are fish and franks with movement and the relationship between movement and mental wellness are <clears throat> confidence. The, back, the fact that exercise balances out your hormones, it makes you feel good. It helps level out your cortisol. Your cortisol is your stress hormone. Whoa, that's high at the moment, okay? We want to lower that cortisol and it also levels out your insulin, okay? So when we're having our carbohydrates, our sugars throughout the whole day, we need a way to release ourselves, okay? We level out our energy levels and insulin is a part of that. It also builds your confidence. Um, it allows you to have that social interaction with like-minded people. It helps lower your anxiety through your breathing. And the last thing is, it gets your brain working, okay? And when you get your brain working, we get new neurological pathways. We get new ways to be curious, new ways to learn and new ways to problem solve. Five main points we're gonna take away today from the relationship between movement and mental health. Probably thinking, fish, you're not doing much movement, all right? So I'm gonna get moving in my gym. Right, so the first one is social interaction. Everything at the moment is all about don't socialize, don't go near people. Wow, we get it. We get it, COVID is about. However, that social interaction is absolutely vital for this. Um, this morning I sat on a Zoom call with a couple of the England boys, England Sevens boys, and I didn't want to do it. Okay, I set my alarm up, got up early, got my walk bike, and actually I feel so much better. I feel like I've achieved. And actually it isn't, 
isn't because I sat on a bike. It isn't because um, I, I love being in a gym. Sometimes I don't love being in a gym. It's just simply the fact that I did it with like-minded people, the social interaction, the banter you get from other people being around you, you know, even if it's on Zoom, okay, so having those relationships formed, it, it puts you in a better place, okay? When it puts you in a better place, we get a better sense of confidence in ourselves and inner confidence that you can't buy. You can't give it, you can't buy. People go, fish, how do you give confidence? You can't give it. It's something that sits within you. It it breathes within you and success breeds success, but it comes from within knowing who you are and actually knowing where you're going. That's the second thing it breathes. So get on your social interaction, guys. Get talking, get chatting, get on Zoom or even go to a gym even if you're in tier three we can still go to a gym okay still have those relationships still talk okay don't just go within yourself the best thing you can do is get out and go and talk the third thing it does is increase your confidence which you always spoke about when you're in any tr any training environment okay there are certain values that you live by as a person and as an athlete all right and one of them that we all talk about is discipline the discipline to know when to go, the discipline to be able to, to tell yourself that you can jump that box behind of a single leg, the discipline to actually get in there, get it done, get the job done, get in, get out, boom, next, on to the next, okay? And that discipline is something that you take into your life. And once you take it into your life, it feeds into your life. It just feeds into what you do. So that second part of movement and relationship between mental health for me is discipline. New Year, same you. Um, this video is all about, basically, we're not going to reinvent 2021. I had to think then about what year it was. But what we're going to do is reinvigorate you. For me, the biggest things that I feel like you need to know, okay, in a quick summary, um, exercise is really good. If we get moving, it, it literally lightens up our brain. Frank, get moving. So for me, the relationship between movement and mental health is massive. So if you're not moving, get moving. And if you're one of these people who's at home going, well, the gym's not really for me, you don't have to do it in a gym setting, okay? It's just about moving. Think about your Tai Chi, think about your yoga, think about different things you can do in the house with your kids, your family, okay, your partner. It doesn't have to be in an actual gym. Sometimes the gym's gonna just put you off, but it's a starting point, okay? Get on your bike, go for a walk, go and get some fresh air. So basically, get moving.